this is really scary putting this sink in because we have to saw through a board and hope that it's right. And what did you say, Jim? Well, that's why the people are afraid of making a mistake and that's why they hired a professional. And so, this is what we have to do. Cut this out. What we're gonna do is put the hardy board down first and cut it out. And that's what we're gonna put this in and make sure it works because we don't have the counter yet. Right. So we get to practice on a $10 piece of wood. $12. Yep. $12. <laughs> so I'm gonna go cut this out. Yep. Do you wanna see the sink? It's really, really deep. Really, really deep. This sink is bigger than this sink. I chose one with here because I, I like the dividing, even though a lot of people don't. I do. I love the color. It's a gray color. It's really, really pretty. It's made from quartz natural stone. The harsh reality is this. We cannot put just this sink in like we thought because it requires the counters. And the counter is coming all the way from that wall in seven feet and all the way from that wall in seven feet is joining right in the center, which is what the contractors say it's supposed to do. And it has to be that way. We cannot put this sink in without those countertops. We well, can't we can do put it, it in there. We have to take it out. Well, but yeah, then we have but, to put but, it on something. Well, yeah, and and these aren't set. These are going to be set to that width, the depth of that. So. But you know, we're we're solving one problem after the other while we do this, and that's really all you can do. You just keep solving. And we problems. are going to be fabricators when we're done. No, we're already fabricators. <laughs> we're just going to pick up the sink and carry it over and hold it so we can see what it looks like. pretend I have a sink for a moment. Yep. And the faucet will be here tomorrow. Good. Ordered my faucet through Amazon. Killer of a deal and it had really good reviews. I mean, you know how expensive faucets are? Are you pulling it out? I'm ready. I got it for $69. Yeah, I got it. Okay. You got it? <laughs> well, right. we're going to show you this wonderful chicken layer box that we bought. Okay. All right. This is our six egg nesting. layer nesting boxes. It's made out of pine and reclaimed pine, I think. What is it? Part. Reclaimed. Re he gets it from uh, construction, construction. Sites and, and uh, just wherever he can. I mean, yeah. he, he's a scrouncer and he finds good wood and he cleans the place up and gets the wood for having cleaned it up. Yeah. And uh, we saw it on Craigslist. 
and it's fifty dollars and he's made hundreds of them and we're like you know we're busy making lots of other stuff time is money let's purchase this from him and we really liked it we weren't sure until we got there and saw it and we're like oh yeah that's extremely nice okay sometimes you have to um tell your dirty secrets <laughs> these aren't our secrets but we decided you know what there was a uh, one of the cabinets that was sitting by the sink was just so moldy inside and all the things would get moldy so i thought you know we've cleaned it all out we've done all this stuff but we haven't turned it upside down and he's repairing anything that needed repairs so we've got everything turned on its side oh i can't even explain the mold and the spider egg bags and the stuff so we've turned every one of them over and vacuumed them and we're putting a mold spray that goes on the bottom of them and then he's repairing all of them whoa i am so glad we're doing this so i don't know why we didn't think to turn them over but we're really glad we did we didn't think to turn them over but we were just trying to get the job done. you know we had um mice in our drawers and it was just basically in the drawers all the time in that drawer and in the top of this drawer and we're like you know well now it was sitting by the sink it had two holes in the bottom like mouse holes no they were drilled well but pipes really. were going through there pipes there was space around them yeah we're like and then this there, is there was an attempt to seal them but they were still holes and this is where you know the water was draining to the outside so it was just a highway for the mice to come in and holes provided for them to get up to the dishes. <laughs> We're like, oh man, all taken care of now, all sealed, all clean. There, this floor and walls have so many areas completely sealed, and then another wall, and that's completely sealed. <laughs> And then another wall, and that's completely sealed. It's like, we're not letting anything in this house. And you and I all know that somehow they'll still figure out a way. But not because we haven't tried. Okay. We're gonna bring you up to date on this kitchen renovation project. We're making progress. Slowly but surely, as well, you it's, said. It's an educational process for us, that's for sure. Um, I want you to know that we're getting better because we used to m go ahead with the project and then go, oh my word, we forgot to do this and this and this. And yeah. now we've got to undo that and that and that. But this time we kept going, well, wait, what about this? How do we get it level? How what do we get that? it square? How what do we get this? it straight? And so, so far we haven't had to backtrack. No, we haven't. Well, you know, part of that, though, is that we've learned how to solve the problems that get created. And, you know, what, what we're seeing here is that between the walls that are on the sides here and this wall that runs along here, these walls are setting kind of out that way because corner to corner is a different distance than if you come out a few feet. So what that amounts to, well, those of you who've done things, I mean, that, that's where you put, get the molding involved, what amounts right? To to is make up for the gaps. Both of the corners are tight, and there's a gap right here as they come out, because this wall, yeah, it's, 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 it's not because we did the wall bad, it's because we didn't put in all new studs. We followed the normal we, we followed studs that were there. Yeah. So. Um, and, well, it's not so much the studs, but the, the, the bottom. The bottom part. Goes down there, yeah. So we but, spent last night late yeah. shimming and unshimming, and then we got up this morning and undid it all. No, we didn't undo it all. We undid a couple of places and got the last part straightened out. Yes, we did. He's done an amazing job. So, so what we have is... Well, let, let me say something. Those of you who have done a lot of construction, you understand that even those who are the best at measuring things and getting them square, getting them level, getting them plumb, you still end up having to make some kind of adjustment because something's not quite right. Well, we're, we're not doing everything perfect, but we're working into a situation here where so much is not right. And no matter what we do, we can't get it perfect. So things don't fit 
And that's been really a big part of the challenge. Yeah. And I, things I know enough to know that somehow it'll all come out. And that we'll see the imperfections. And if we let a contractor in, they would definitely see the imperfections. But most of the people are going to come in and say, oh my, what a beautiful kitchen. Yep, that's where we're headed. We're a ways from there. I do want to show you. Where we are now, cap the lower cabinets. Uh, oh, we understand. You should do upper cabinets first. We got it. We agree. But... We need a sink, we need functionality, and we've put in upper cabinets when cabinets already existed, so we know it can be done. Not ideal, but we need to get the sink up and going. There's still a lot left to get to that point. Yeah, we're, this is we're where close. we're close. We're close. But we have several things, and, and all the way through this Saturday, today, I said to myself, we will not have a sink in tonight because we have to do this and this and this and this. And we still do. And there may be some more thises yeah. we haven't thought of yet. <laughs> but that's okay because I am telling you, I can almost, I, I could dance in here. Well, what you can see now, she's she's got these cabinets. One more coat for these cabinets. Yeah, they need another okay, coat. Another, another coat. So the front of them is there. This We've little, got, uh, the, point to this one, Jim. This little one right here. Right here. Was, was a spacer. And so we are actually building to be able to put something in there of use. Same thing on the other side where the dishwasher is. Um, and the dishwasher had set up against here and there was a spacer on this side. But we're gonna make it so you can slide in cookie sheets and things like that. We're gonna make use of the space. So those will both be, they'll, they'll all have drawer um, cupboards, but I want to show them how we move this tall. <laughs> over here the thing that's sitting on the cabinet on top of the refrigerator will actually go clear to the ceiling and then Jim's building some other things underneath it and then this is where we'll put the second um, pantry and, and once again we've, we've proportioned things so that when when the day comes that we replace this older refrigerator with one of the bigger nicer uh, the one that can, I don't know, cook the food for you. <laughs> but we made enough space for this, the standard refrigerator. All right, so I'm going to see if, if you can see. what When you walk in, it's U-shape. There's our gorgeous window. And a long counter, cabinet, counter. Whoops, sorry. Well, that's the other thing we've done. We've got the counters. We, we cut the width. We've got the links cut, things are fitting in all the way around. They're not the in yet. And they're, then it goes around here. They're sized. They're ready for us to do a few more things. This one I forgot to paint, so I'll be painting that one tonight. Uh, this is the one that we added to the left side of the stove because we haven't had one there. And so that's going to be amazing. And then right here in the center will be a Three, 30 inch deep wide by four foot island. So these so boards, we got the board for it yesterday. These boards are from Menards. They're five fourths. Should you decide to buy them, you have to go and examine each one because they can be- If you're only buying one, you're okay. If you're buying two and gonna put them together, you need to measure that they're the same thickness because they can vary from an inch to an inch and a quarter. Yeah. So So we got we we did. We, we had all right. we went through a, took a few off the shelf and had to put them back. Poor guy. He was very patient with us. And then some of them were kind of weird looking and some of them were warped, but we got good well, ones. Well that is the thing we saw. A lot of them it's you know a fairly long board, you know, goes the whole distance or most of the distance. There were a few of them, they were using like six inch pieces and they had them put together. Uh, it looked really icky. It wasn't the look we wanted and there were a few of them that were that way. So you don't just go pull them off the shelf, take them home and be happy about it. Measure them, look at them, be sure that, in fact, one of them that we saw was like, it was in a C shape. It was, just, <laughs> it was so warped, it was horrible. So, so be very selective. I wanted to show them, if you'll hold this so that I can show them this. We did a lot of research on being able to cut these on the diagonal and fit them all together. 
every single thing I looked at, this old house, HGTV, everything when you're using a chopping block was that you don't do that. You have this one go straight and this one go this way. And I know you're looking at this right now and going, but the seams aren't even right. These don't, these aren't shimmed or anything right now. They're just sitting here. So I think it, I'm having a tough time getting used to that they're not gonna be diagonal. They're not now, so even if you come back and say, yes, you can, they're already cut. <laughs> so this goes this way and this goes this way. And we have a little, whoa. <laughs> How'd you like that move? We have a little one back here that is that way. We still have to, <laughs> you can come off of me. <laughs> we still have to figure, sand them. We have to, put food grade mineral oil on them. We have to join them together and, and, the, and be sure they're all And this is something even. that I'm not sure about. So if you've ever used this kind of wood before, help me understand how you keep it looking nice when you're not using a varnish and a sealer. I've never done it where you just use the oil and I don't know what it's gonna look like in a year. <laughs> So if you've done it, we're, we, we're not working on it on Sunday, and so you have plenty of time to tell us <laughs> before we do something with this as to what, just using the mineral oil, how does that work? Not that I'm skeptical, I don't understand and I want to understand. It's part of our learning process. <laughs> that, <clears throat> that is our kitchen update, and I feel very good about it. I do too, we're getting there. Um, I'm still I'm gonna load my cupboards I'm still washing in the bathroom but we've made a lot more progress yes we have it feels amazing there's light at the end of this tunnel the kitchen is cleaned out from all the upper cupboards but the living room isn't <laughs> anyway we'll see you on Monday and we will be telling where we came up with the name hardiness approach it's a good we story. We were challenged. It's a good story. It's a good story. <laughs>